Hi, hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays. We're playing Pacific Drive, and I apologise for the last episode, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, just before we do anything, minor lore dump, because that's really annoying. We can use Lim for improved electroplating. Bond metals like we never had before. It's a revolution! Oh my god, my hand. Anyway, <clears throat> um, there was a little bit of stuff from Oppy. Uh, in the last one. It was just telling us how the arc device worked. We didn't really miss anything. And there was a question mark type radio transmission um, that was mildly interesting, but I can't find it in here, so we're not going to be able to listen to it back, unfortunately. Um, but it wasn't like massive lore dump. It was just a little bit of... Uh, I think it was about the Canadian person who came over. Also. It, was, it was a continuation of that sort of law streak. You didn't miss much. So I'm just going to jump right in now and follow the, the quest log, which is find a way to the wall. Uh, we need to unlock blueprints. It doesn't say which ones, so uh, are you going to suggest which one I should do? No? Um, that was enough, apparently. But we should still look at the blueprints anyway, so let's have a shift around here so we can manage. Um, we can make yet another... Uh, an even more expanded locker, which may be worthwhile, it is one of our seven clins. Uh, we don't really need this. We can't have it. We can't have it. We can't have it. What is this? You can scramble a junction. Interesting. Uh, can't have it. We need unstable energy for our level two machine, uh, which is going to be important, but we haven't found unstable energy yet. Guessing it's on the other side of the wall, which we have yet to breach, so we'll find out. Um, <clears throat> tiny bit of Kalim to have a... Sure, let's have a basketball hoop. <laughs> what, what could go wrong? Uh, where do you want me to put this? Ah, above the door. Yep, another thing that does not go in this room, and therefore yet another no use for this room room. There is a... This is where we turned the power on in the first place, I suppose, so there is a... This... Oh, I've got a free basketball. Okay, we have to calibrate our brain for how difficult it is to throw this basketball. There's probably an achievement, right? Ooh. Catch it. Pick it up. Having to hold down the button to pick that up. Kind of frustrating. Okay, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> we'll do that another time. That's it uh, for our missions, but... Back into here. Uh, corrupted energy, unstable energy, unstable energy. We can have this light replacement kit. That's worth it, actually, because we have an insulated headlight in the matter reconstructor, which is still not rebuilt, by the way. So, you know. Um, but when we reinstall that, we're going to want to be able to fix it without having to replace it where possible. Junction restabilizer, I see. That's what that was called. Uh, this is our anchor radar. The enormous energy that anchors generate. Give... Oh, right. I saw that last time and I didn't really want it. Uh, it doesn't seem that interesting. Electricians get... Ah! This will let us get into some of the other locked doors. So we will take this. Thank you very much. Uh, we should check. I want to double check. Uh, okay, we can make this in our car. We need the bits for it, so we might not be able to make it when we need it. But we've got the we've got the the level of crafting table in there that we need. Um, I was a bit worried about fuel last time, so this seems like a worthwhile thing to learn. Can we have more than one fuel can in the car? Maybe. Uh, what's this now? Uh, better engine. Should we have a better engine? 400 health. 18 amperes, 120 health. Now. So it's worse on the fuel, but a better at driving. Let's have one. What could go wrong? Um, oh, I've got. To, I need some more. Oh, 42 thermostat, Chris. Thermostat? Thermo. Um, no. Oh, well. Uh, let's replace it. 
Does it go there? Doesn't go there. Ah. Where does it go? Probably just put it in the inventory, right? Well, they. <laughs> Why not? Uh... So that has to stay there. So we might as well um, refill this. Where did you put the. Okie dokie, extra fuel get. Now, <clears throat> we've had to. I don't remember why I had to replace this panel, but I did, and this one's looking kind of new as well. Um, maybe at the end of the episode, when we're doing our law dump, we could also think about repainting the car. I also wanted to see what happens if you put these decals on the armored panels, so we'll find out. Still haven't figured out what's wrong with our car, if anything. Um, but I think it's time to just leave and go and do something. Uh, so the goal is to get out here. Well, that looks bad. <laughs> I don't want to go there. I can't get to it from here. I think this is where we went last time, and that's taught us about the link over here. Uh, so I guess we scan this. I'm not a fan of extreme conditions, especially since I now I think I need to go here to learn about this link, and then I need to come home and then go there again and then go to here. <gasps> what a palaver! Um, so, quit putting everything away, job, and then we should be ready to go. We need a new uh, flare launcher. I used it up. There we go. I think we'll just leave. Such a mess. We could do some of the um, some of the aesthetics of the car at the end of the episode. How about that? Right. So we could go anywhere. <laughs> this is the point, right? None of these seems to go to a place that we want. Like we could go from here to here and then see if that goes anywhere. But we know about this place, so I think we'll just go in here. I don't like... Why are you telling me this? It's too scary. I don't... Uh, what? We only got halfway. Random encounter? Final Fantasy style? Uh, okay. Strange. Yeah, it's just a random encounter along the highway. That's crazy. Well, oh, might as well loot a bit. Bit of radiation here. Not, not worried about it. Never been accosted on the road before, but it's nice to know that there's loot here as well. If there ain't loot, it ain't worth my time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll head on. Maybe we get accosted in the tunnel. Oh, I forgot about this. We're going to look in this. Huh. Wonder why the uh, matter reconstructor is made of speakers. Maybe some law reason that I'm not aware of? Inside joke from the devs, maybe? I think it said it maybe used Sonic something something to make it work, but it seems a bit hand wavy. It's like the Sonic shower in Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Trek. Maybe they have Sonic showers in Star Wars, you don't know. Uh, very dark in here. In here? Whoa, yes, anything in here. Oh, we picked it up. Uh, abandoned square. Steel, oh, uh, let me chop up a steel panel. Do we still have any of our liberator? 
Yes. Good. So if you find something interesting, you can't take the bumpers off. What? Uh, we can have. I just don't need an armor door. Do an armor door. Yeah. Just saying that. Look. about that. We're never going to get through this tunnel if we stop for everything. Ooh, something worth stopping for is this big truck here. It's weirdly just one light in the whole tunnel. Uh, no, thank you. Sure. What's this? A steel panel. Meh. Thanks for the loot, but also meh. Carrying on. You know what I was saying about not being worried about the battery? <laughs> yeah. A bit worried now. I had a dream I was driving a bus with this much visibility. It was horrible. I always have dreams about driving large vehicles, and in the dream I can't reach... I can't activate the brake pedal to its fullest extent. Um, so... I can't stop the vehicle properly. I'm kicking down with my leg at its full extension, like trying to slam it into the floor. And just nothing's happening. Now, I know the buses have soft brakes, but come on, not even being able to stop the damn thing at a light. It's silly. But that's my, uh, that's my semi-regular terrifying dream. What are we driving towards? Is this why we stopped in the first place? It's just this huge... Is that the wall? It looks like a satellite dish or something. We're going to Jodrell Bank. Random encounter complete. Okay. Can we, can we carry on? Can we go? Maybe I don't have a quirk. Maybe you just told me about the quirk system. But, didn't, but there isn't actually one to fix yet. We'll, when we get a quirk, we'll probably know. Probably. Wait, where are we? Stream conditions. Overcharged electricity. So we are moving on. So what we might do is just... I might ignore the limb in this place. Because if we... I don't know what stream conditions means. Uh, apart from I'm scared already. Uh, but trying to get those two and then leaving when we've already got extreme conditions. Oh, and we learned about overcharged electricity last time. I don't know if I left enough of that in for you to realize, but... Um, excuse me. I saw that there were a lot of electric-based things going on. I was like, oh, great. We've got our lightning rod. We can charge ourselves back up. But it turns out that overcharged electricity... I think I read it out at the end of the episode, so you might have caught it. Overcharged electricity uh, does more damage and presumably saps your battery more than it charges it. So I think I might have just driven over some black goop, actually. That was not very smart of me. So, ideally, we want to... avoid the electricity in the first place. Ooh, did you drop anything? No. Because why would you? Nice to have four armoured doors. Maybe? I don't know, is it? Maybe I couldn't care less? Maybe I could care less, but Americans don't understand it. What are you telling me with extreme conditions then? Because so far extreme conditions has been... It's raining. <laughs> it's just raining. <clears throat> Which could be charging our battery if we bought the thing that allows us to do that, but no. Or was that maybe a unstable energy requirement? I can't remember. But we're approaching the little hamlet that's out here. I don't, uh, should I continue to be scared of the fact it's extreme conditions? Should I not really be worried about it? Because nothing's happening. I'm wondering if it's just going to go to storm quickly, for example. 
It's certainly an option. Maybe it's even likely. <clears throat> but right now, it doesn't necessarily seem entirely as hazardous as maybe the wording would suggest. Well, that stuff's really obvious. I didn't. I don't think I drove over that before. You know, the wording was like, oh, watch out, everything's bad and this is the end of the world. But in reality, it's, it's, again, it's just raining. Is that it? I feel like lead's going to be more, impor uh, more important at some point, because I don't think I've used anywhere near as much as I've collected. I'm collecting a much greater urgency than I'm it really deserves based on how much I'm using it, I suppose is what I'm saying there. Bit of a uh, radiation. It's okay. Got some food to deal with it. That's how radiation works. That's interesting. What's going on here? Just a shock tourist. Just leaning on the banister like it ain't no thing. Yeah, have this. I don't know if I've checked for... Oh, hello. Oh, no. I don't know if I've checked for um, upgrades to my, my hoodie or whatever I'm wearing. My parka. Maybe I should. It's possible that they all need unstable energy at this point. Because I was thinking maybe there's a radiation upgrade, which would be very useful. Um, oh, hello. One thing I do tend to just ignore <laughs> because I'm like that is the existence of radiation didn't eat that eat it properly okay. oh that broke already that's weird it's not, <laughs> not very good is it No impact hammer in my No impact hammer. I don't have one. Okay. Uh... Let's have a bit of plasma. A bit of plasma from the shop tourist as well. Thank you very much. I don't think I get too much out of, out of these uh, tiny, tiny little food majiggers. At least not compared to the amount of damage I'm doing to myself by uh, ignoring the radiation completely. Yoink. Is this whole place just completely irradiated? What's going on? Well, apparently, but we're still going, so... <laughs> we're gonna do? Just eat through it. It's gonna keep giving me a whole bunch of food. I'm gonna keep eating a whole bunch of food. It's just the way it is. Light bulbs turn into McDonald's, okay, I think. Wonder if they'll attack me when I've got this out. Is this is this aggro to them? Oh, 
are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> did that show up or did I just not notice it? What are you telling me about crocodiles? <laughs> What's you going on about love? Do I need to be worried right now? I wish I bought. I wish I put a windmill on my car. That's for sure. Uh, we've got a little bit of damage, according to the machine. Yeah, look. I wonder if we actually get blown away. I'm gonna wait and see. Uh, and I want some repair. Yeah. Repairing my car in a massive storm, don't worry about it. Cars are, <laughs> cars are moving. I oh, know. Shorted. These one use kits. <laughs> Come on, guys. You made it out to be so dangerous. Now it's over there. What is. And then it's gone. Car's twitching. It's a little bit disconcerted by the whole thing. Slightly afraid after all that, but you no. Know. Whee! Cool, I landed. Probably my uh, amazing boots keeping me safer. All right, so um, let's go so this car can stop freaking out. Mm, don't have much canned food. <laughs> Can't have eaten it all. All right. Uh, where did we put? We put down a limb thing, didn't we? Yeah, maybe we'll just get one. Oh, but we can't go from there. What's that? Is that uphill or downhill? Can't actually tell. It's bound to be downhill that way, right? Because we're above the tunnel. If we get that, we can't get out. Is that a good idea? I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe we can get out. We'll judge it. When we get there, we'll decide whether we can safely flee. And from there, we can decide whether we actually want to... Ooh. Oh, jeez. Storm's coming in. Come on. I'm going to put this down, then. Mostly following this road. Yeah, I think n not worrying about this limb is probably the right thing to do. If we can leave... Like, obviously, if we had to get it in order to open a gateway, then we would, but we don't have to, so I'm not going to. Um, yeah, storm's on its way. No, thank you. I don't want that. I will check some places on the way. It's not like it's coming in at a rate of knots, right? But our loot gobbling in Ninging is being regularly hampered by our lack of inventory space. We're going to have to put some side storage on, I think. Is that it? You're cheated. I mean, we do carry around a whole bunch of junk with us that we could probably leave behind. And I did, I'd used the stuff that I was sort of hoarding. We made some space that way. 
the the kits that I found last time in the in the drop pod, which I you know was very surprised by and excited about. But well, I guess I told you, <laughs> but it was a, a brief interlude in the highlights reel. And I was looking, watching watching the video back. I saw it streak across the sky, streak across the sky in front of me, but. I wasn't paying that much attention to the sky back then. No, no reception. No, I'm pressing the wrong button again. I keep changing volume when I mean to change station. But that's cool, and it, I like that it showed up on the uh, on the thing here. It was very handy. Just gonna drive past these guys, I think. Should be okay. Nope, not okay. It did charge us up a bit, actually. That's charging us up a lot. I don't know what I'm worried about. That seems fine. Gonna ignore that. It does look like a honeypot. Uh, that means it might spew a whole bunch of lit flares at me, but that's fine. Um, just gonna ignore it. Can I pass it? Don't zap me. Okay, fine. Zap me if you wish. It will damage my car a great deal. Maybe, but it charged me up a decent amount. So, if you can deal with the the zap, I guess it's fine. But we're we're racing through these places because we don't have the inventory space, and uh, I'm scared of them, basically. <laughs> right. So, wait, where are we? we're here? This is high instability. This is even higher instability. What is going on? Um. Right. That was okay. <laughs> so confused. Um, now we have to go here. Eerie darkness, shocking speed. What does that mean? Swift storm, seek details. Not recognized. Not recognized. Not recognized. Um, but this we're going to have to leave this place with a gate. I'm not happy with that at all. What's this? There's an eyeball. Not recognized some sort of I don't know what the radiation symbol means, to be honest. No, the vehicle status is fine. So I guess we're going here, and uh, now I'm even more scared. Because this has a big blob over it, saying, don't go here under any circumstances, you fool. Uh, and yet, here we are, going. Again, might not be able to... Uh... Okay, higher levels will damage the car itself, it says here. So that's probably why you want radiation insulation. I don't know if we're going to... I guess we could kit the panels out appropriately, right? Uh, just based on where we're going. Eerie darkness, shocking speed, swift storm. So we're here. We can't get out. We need to gather limp. So I guess we're going to gather some limp. Let's start up here. It says swift storm, unstable, highly unstable, apparently. We only need two limb to get out of here. Two K limb. But we want to collect as much as we can because we want to improve our lot back home. We want to unlock stuff. Blinking Storm's coming in already. That's insane. I can't, I can't deal with this. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm quiet now. I, I don't know how to handle this. Doesn't look like it's coming in too fast. But you know how it is. You stop and do stuff and suddenly you're inside it. And you're wondering how you managed to make it back to the... <laughs> back to the garage. Darkness is eerie, isn't it? How thick it is. I'm keeping looking because I want to know about the storm. I got an uh, alarm, but maybe I've got a couple of minutes before it even starts. Anyway, I'm not worrying about looting them things. Flipping heck. Ignore that. At least I don't have the electric problems. Nearly 
at it. This is probably a reason why you want the uh, <clears throat> the limb thingy detector because I don't see a thing. Whoa! Was that you? Who did that? What's this? Ooh. The glowy dude. That's the glowy dude, right? Yeah. I'm going to guess that uh, the <laughs> nature of this place is randomly accelerates you as if you'd run into a glowing boulder. What? Put it in. It looks like the electricity does the, uh... Does the boosting? It's on the car, though. Wait, is this enough to get us home? Let's find out. Yeah, stop it, though. Can you break that? No. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to be stuck in this car. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Ow. Stop it, though. I don't even have anything to eat. Dare I get out? There's food in the back. <laughs> That's, um, oh my god, I'm out of fuel. I need another. I need another one. Well, I guess we'll go over here. Hopefully, not really into anything electrified or anything that I can't see, which is everything. That's a terrible place to stop, huh? Oh, jeez. Spicy. Get out. Get this. Get in. <laughs> Eat stuff. Right, the, the limb's over there. It's coming in. I can see it now. It's on its way. That didn't do very much healing at all. Uh, incidentally. Car's a bit of a wreck. Things need fixing. Maybe we can just stop off over here and sort that out. Hello. Stop there. Uh... Why is it zappy now? I thought we were in a safe spot. Okay, go somewhere else. No way safe. There's an airstrip there. Good gracious. Yeah, everywhere's electrified. Everywhere's radiated. Too much, it's too much. Right, where can we make a... Oh, the thing's landed. Interesting. Gate. Got two gate options. <laughs> I don't like either of them. Oh no, that's not another thing landed. Look, that's another gate. Okay, let's get to that road up there. On our left. I'm ignoring the state of the car. I can just make new of everything. I don't care. This is... Ah! That's really hard to deal with. Uh, can we... Wow. 
way? Can I go? This way? Okay. Around the airstrip, maybe. I'm not sure if it's electricity doing that or if it's just randomly happening. But it's terrifying each time and I can't control it. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm in the woods. Of course I'm going to hit trees. I think there's a radiation in literally the entirety of this place as well. What we have to do is the car has to survive, that's all right. And then let's go like this. Open this gate and then go. This was too difficult and I'm never doing it again. <laughs> Thank you. This time it was helpful. It does seem to be the electricity doing it, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay, it's just up ahead. Uh, no, I can't see. Can you see? <laughs> it's awful. I'm nearly dead. Eat something. I don't have anything. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna make it before I'm dead. Oh! <laughs> Zero percent health! <laughs> that was a challenge and a half! Probably should have used the health packs that I have, hmm? Instead of not using the health packs that I have? The doors are open. I haven't got any doors left. Looks like you're getting the hang of things. No, I'm really not. Once you get that unfortunate driving under control. Just shut up. <laughs> Uh, well, there's a car. Uh, of course, four doors. What are you talking about? These are missing. Granted. <laughs> Those are missing. No, let's, um, let's fix things, shall we? So I think that's probably, whilst we think about it, um, told us that this place, which is horrible and we never want to go back to, but we still have to go to that one, then that one, in order to get to that one, which is insane. I'm wondering if... A part of me wants to know if there's another wall junction here. Now look at this. This is a level two. What does that mean? Does it mean it's two steps away? No, because that's three. That's four steps. Uh, that's one step. What does the two mean? 2k lymph for gateway. Ah. Interesting. That's good to know. Look at all this stuff. I'm not going to another place coloured like that. What are you talking about? I'm going to laugh, mate. So we have to go through that again. Uh, the wipes are on. Is it something I said? Are they supposed to be on? Did something turn them on? Oh, the lights don't work. That's the problem. Why does it say the doors are open? What is that noise? Is it you? Probably the fuel gauge. I'm going to shut that up. That was, I, I still haven't got over that. <laughs> How difficult was that? Unbelievable, Jeff. The storm came in straight away. We hardly had time to gather enough limb. Crikey. Everything's wrecked. Don't, it was, there's no point fixing the headlight. It's not a special headlight. We haven't got a bumper. We haven't got any headlights. Look, you just... Recycled. <laughs> Most things have been fixed. Let's um. Do we fill? Oh, the car's still on. Never turned it off. I just got out because I was terrified. <laughs> I was dying. Uh. 
Why is this telling me stuff? What does that mean? I don't know. I do not know what that symbol means. It might mean that I need to install bits on the car. You know, I know that. <laughs> What's this doing? Oh, this is good. Put it to uh, have a spare headlight. We did have food. I was trying to eat and it wasn't working. I guess I was driving at the time. <laughs> Maybe it was a bit dangerous to be eating at that point. Um, but do what you're told is my point. What do you got, bro? Maybe something cool. I won't bother picking that up. Got a few cool bits though. Retro stripes. Maybe we can have an interesting design on our car instead of the awful one that we had before. Hair putty. First aid kit. Could have used that. <laughs> Should have used that. We will learn a little bit what we'll do next. Ooh. Handy panels? No, bad panels. Uh, ooh. <laughs> it's like, alright, here you go. Just everything. Stop asking. That's it, right? Yeah. Not being greedy, just check. Um. We should have the first aid kits in our inventory at a time like that. And I did have this if it was going to be a problem, but I think the bigger problem was everything else. I will read this because it's annoying. Milk never curdles in the zone, 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 in the zone. I wanted to do this because I wanted to do this. Put these in, which we'll read in a minute. And over here for the paints. suspect I have more than enough paint. Uh, cool. Pick this up. Pick everything else up with the machine. Just suck it up. Have to hold it down, it doesn't just go, there we go. Put that door, there's a draft. Thank you. So we've got some bumpers out of there, we've got some panels out, there's nothing in it. Everything went in here, I don't believe you. Really? Can't put the basketball in the... Can't put the basketball in anything. Right. Uh, these are getting scrapped to heck. Boosh. <laughs> what? Nothing. Right. That's where you want to be about it. Uh, you can go in... Oh, I've still got... Oh, my goodness. I've got so many materials, I really need to stop looting everything. <laughs> I don't need this stuff. You can live in here as well. We've got a spare summer tyre. Oh, my sweet summer tyre. Um... We could be making these first aid kits and all. So why? What? How many have I got? It's an insane number. Do it again. You go there. You go there. You go there. A spare scrapper. That's handy. Right. Let's make some new panels. Is it a panel or a door? Oh, that needs repair. It's a battery looking. Battery doesn't take damage, just depletes charge. Understood. Never actually um, had to put repair putty on the engine before. Maybe I've had to and not realised that that was the thing that it was complaining about, but my goodness. This stuff's cheap, let's do everything. 
Didn't notice that was broken. How are you doing? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Splendid. It's never satisfied, is it, this 95%? What else could you possibly want? That, 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 the chassis? Come on, mate. Oh. Don't have a thing. Can't make it here. Can't make it here. Uh. Yeah, I think so. It's still not happy with me. Oh, it's still not repaired. And since we now have basically no decoration on the whole car, I think what I might do is flick through the decoration options. Because there was one that looked kind of interesting. Um, no, not in here. I was wondering what the retro stripes look like. They could be cool. I mean, they could be terrible, because they're called retro. But they could be cool. Uh, what have we got here? Black stripes. Not white stripes. Wood panel? No. Sketchy. I think I've seen that. Camo? Mm. Numbers is going to make me look like evil Knievel. White stripes. There you go. More numbers. Got a lot of duplicates here. I'm not sure I'm bothered by that. Let's put this one on. Nothing could look better than retro stripes. It does. It does apply. I'm happy with that. Is there a, is one decal kit enough to do the entire car, including the chassis? By the way, what? <laughs> How brilliant is that? Now my question is, what um, paint is showing through? It's enough to do the entire car, and then a bit. I don't think there's a section I haven't done. So I could fix it. Oh, the, the top's a bit boring. Look. Let's put some paint on there. What colours do we have? Uh, we've got paint stripper. That's a okay. That's an interesting colour. Uh, red, blue, black, off white, grey, brown, burnt orange, normal orange, teal, crimson. I don't think that would go. We want to use light colours, I think. Uh, maybe teal. Sure, why not? I do recommend that you uh, cover your windows up before you spray your car. You're going to have a you're gonna have a bad time. Is any of this going to change? Oh, yeah. Did I get this? No, I got the chassis. Minor change. Oh, really? Guess that's already that colour. Can I paint that? No. What can I paint? Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, you need way more. HP. Put this away. I did notice that I had a new bobble head or something. Let's have a look in here. I hate this interface, by the way. <laughs> uh, what have we got here? These are, yeah, bobble heads. We've not got a bobble head installed. I could have this weird tardigrade called a howdygrade. I could have this. I'm going to have the howdygrade. Yeah, why not? Nice. And then, have we got anything for this? Oh, it's so slow. Sure. <laughs> what? It says it's not installed, but it's installed. I don't think that's installed. I think you're lying to me. What have we got here? Everything's saying installed, but I can't install it. But I've got nothing. Maybe a minor bug?
Oh, now it's changed. Now I can do it. Look. Let's see what that looks like. It's probably horrible. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's grim. You can tell what mode it's in. Nope. Can we poke this dude? Why can't I poke my bubble head? That's the whole point of the bubble head. Uh, anyway. And we've got this on our aerial. Where's the aerial? Here it is. Look. I mean, I could do... I, I've seen better. I wouldn't mind a better one. Uh, we've actually completely repaired our car according to the thing. So, I, I disagree. Because I've just realised that uh, this is still a wreck. Whoa, that does not get much <laughs> repair from this, does it? We could have a second one and put it in the thing so that when we come back, it's fixed up. Uh, that's not a terrible idea. What did it cost to make it? Just just to save time more than anything else. Uh, it's kind of cheap. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll put this in our hand. Can we just swap it directly? Drop that. Drop that. Restore the fresh one. Pick this up. And don't put it in the wrong one. Don't put it in the, the thing from... Right. Okay. Could fix this, actually, maybe. No. Can't repair that. That's a shame. Uh, and now we can put... Um, maybe we'll put another side rack on. It might cost us quite a lot of our limb. We haven't got much limb left. To spend on stuff. Uh, because we ran away really, really quickly. So we're going to have to go to a place that is fairly stable. Get some limb. I thought now is the part of the game which we haven't really seen very much of. Because I don't want to... Oops. I don't want to follow the... Uh, what are you moving around? I don't want to follow the story right now. I want to go out there. Get a whole bunch of limb, unlock some of this stuff. Uh, although I'm now realizing that I really need unstable limb, don't I? Yeah, we really need unstable limb. We could get a new locker. What's this? Roof rack. Ah. I wonder what you could put on the roof rack. Roof rack. Roof storage, I guess. Yeah. Which needs unstable energy, so there's no point getting a roof rack because we can't have it. Um, fine. Fabris station, I've never noticed that. Terrible. Uh, let's have a look at ourselves. Where's the ourselves area? Here. Yeah, let's look in here. We haven't done this for a while. Uh, we would like. Lead eight? Yes. We would like this. And this is just impact protection. We might as well. Um, stiff shirt as well. Piercing dangers, okay. Large backpack needs swamp coral, which we've not even heard of yet. Uh, and then we did get some... This this isn't enough. Electrical resist 30%. We were still getting wasted by it. Um, blocks electric shots need marsh eggs. And then we can upgrade it, but we haven't got it yet. So, tough. Chemical tree candy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where is this stuff? Crip gloves, marsh eggs? Blimey. So we've definitely got some things to find. Um, it's time for the lore dump. So if you are leaving me now, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll join me for next time. And I apologise for the previous episode, which went horribly wrong. Um, but I can, I'm looking now and I can see it's recording desktop audio. So uh, no more excuses, no more problems. And for those of you who are staying, uh, I'm, as mentioned, I can't get back the law that we heard over the radio last time. Can't find it. Um, but it doesn't seem like too much has happened. So uh, we'll, we'll just skip it, I think, and move on. Uh, right, what have, we won, what have we won in here? We've got some new con zone conditions, overcharged electricity. Due to increased ambient limb field energy, all electric damage taken in this part of the zone is increased. We got that last time. 
Uh, apparently I'm reading it again. Shocking speed in this part of the zone. Dangerous electrical discharges tend to also confer mysterious speed boosts straight into trees, which you then can't fix because it's too much radiation. Eerie darkness. This part of the zone is unusually, even abnormally, darker than normal. Yes, I noticed. Storm activity in this part of the zone is remarkably rapid. After it manifests, it will close in much faster than usual. And it manifested straight away. Not a fan of that. Uh, what have we won in here? Equipment. Added Parker, soft and yet strong. The layers of custom-crafted material woven into this clothing will provide partial protection against impacts and heavy hits. You shall still try to get out of the way. So, didn't help. Uh, lead apron. This chunky lead-lined top will go some way to defending its wearer from radiation. Though it may not be much. Limited protection is certainly better than none at all. This is definitely going to help when that happens again, and I need to get out of the car to fix it, but it's irradiated out there. I should be able to get out and survive a bit better. And I can use those dang healing kits instead of trying to eat Lead lined lab coat, larger and bulkier than the rad hoodie. This provides much more coverage and thus protection from the dangerous levels of radiation that soften plague the zone. It even catches the light rather nicely. Grand. Uh, which is kind of why I wanted all that lead. I don't know if I need any more lead, but. Guess it couldn't hurt. Short if it's fried. Perhaps it was some tremendous surge of energy, a violent discharge, or a sudden jolt. Whatever the case, this light has shorted and shines no more. Yes, we fixed that on the road, which is good. Hoop. It's definitely, it's such a generously sized target. How difficult it be, could it be to score a few points? I'll try off camera and let you know, maybe. Cowabunga, we're going to need a bigger surfboard. How degrade the car ain't big enough for both of us. Yeah, you saw those in the thing. Uh, there's more. There's more to read. There's more. Here we go, decals. So all the ones I've not discovered, and I've got duplicates of everything. Retro stripe. stripes for that authentic vintage feel, which we have. It's brilliant. Uh, brown paint. Pacific brown echoes the musty tones of the wild northwest, calling to mind the script crisp spray of a young skunk, <laughs> sudden slips on rainy slopes, and the discovery of fresh mud trapped across living room carpets. Yes, this is exactly what it's like. Right, let's have a look at some of the lore that we've unlocked. Theories, number five. So there's these things flying around in the zone at night, and I know for a fact they're all robot owls. The thing is, like, real owls, they're all mocking us. The reason they put up these big walls... It's because the owls use a kind of infrasound, that low frequency stuff, so you don't quite hear it, but it gets into your subconscious. They mock you, and you feel bad about yourself, and you walk around feeling like you should have tried harder to be a baseball player, or that you bought the wrong shoes. So those walls block the infrasound. Thing is, it's actually really tragic, because the walls absorb bad vibes, and then they feel sad themselves. Go on, Aston. Uh-huh. I think theories is a, maybe a generous word. Meeting at Minutes, January 15th, 1950. Agenda. Issues arising from Reginald Stanley Robinson's minutes taking. Correct use of Oxford comma. <laughs> Appropriate levels of alcoholic consumption during versus after SRR meetings. Effects of latter upon former. Arising concerns. Dr. Ophelia Turner. <laughs> Dr. Ophelia comma Turner. Not an Oxford comma. Articulated a difficulty being heard amongst lively male discussion. Dr. Ophelia comma Turner presented data detailing a number of interruptions by other SSR members. Um, this means her name is Turner Ophelia. By the way, Dr. Turner Ophelia. Action items. Members to raise their hands before speaking during presentations. Open discussion to be mindful of interruption. Reginald Stanley Robinson to catalogue all such. Someone's taking the mic. AOB. Whiskey tasting courtesy of Dr. Ophelia Turner. Uh, do we get more? No, I think that's everything. We've run, we've read through the things. Uh, I don't think we've got any more... Um, there's anything necessary left to hear because it i think it would tell me if they're undiscovered right there's lots of unknowns in here we'll find out um that's everything i think uh, next time we will probably launch straight in we've already you know decorated our car so it looks amazing and we know what we're doing we just have to make a couple of extra bits and pieces we could do on our road right i don't even think we got any thermosap crystals which is a shame because we need them and we haven't figured out what our problem is with the car, which means I have no problem with the car personally, and we can just carry on. That's perfect parking. Uh, so that'll be it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me next time. But until then, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you.